uh, have you actually been keeping up on a lot of uh, stuff in the news this week? Uh, you know, this past week and a half with um, iPhone and iPad app stuff. Uh, I actually want to get your opinion on um, on the, the whole you know iPhone 4G leak. Um, I don't know if you actually look at the pictures. Yeah, I know you're not type yeah, you of. You know, uh, I, I heard about it, and uh, to me, you know, I believe Apple can can run a really tight ship. They they surprised people like at conferences with devices yeah. many times in the past. I don't believe they allow uh, people to just walk out with their prototypes if Low they're level. not if they're not either going to be okay if it is stolen or it's just just like planted. Yeah. You know, like I, I you're not going to walk out of <laughs> a, a Fortune 50 company with a top secret pro prototype. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't believe it. So my, my big thing is I want to see exactly how uh, how the sales change um, from this year versus over last year on the current gen models. Right. Because um, uh, in my you know previous life I did uh, automotive marketing stuff and then I always kind of wondered why we couldn't talk about new cars before they came out and there's always the big push from the up top saying yeah, well you, you got to sell what you have today not what you're selling tomorrow. So it's like yeah. I'm curious how many people would you know held off like just sort of. Um, regular people who don't really like, follow the news mm -hmm. that much. You know what, it's funny, I, really I just had recently heard that uh, the Android picked up 2% of the market from the iPhone. Okay. So the iPhone didn't grow, it lost 2%. Yeah, yeah. so I mean, I'm So I wonder, I think, I think that might be people holding off. I, think, I wouldn't buy an iPhone today, yeah. knowing Every, that 4.0 and the new yeah. one's coming. Around. I mean, it's, I buy today? It's anybody who's like follows this stuff, they know that product life cycle and mm -hmm. it's been basically every June for the past three years. Yeah. Um, but, I guess but now it's I more public because exactly. it blew up so big. Exactly. I mean, holy yeah. moly. And it's I guess everywhere. it's the first time that it actually had like a different real form factor than when, previous ones. When like my mother is telling me about this new iPhone. <laughs> she's pretty hip. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. So she's telling me about the new iPhone and it really, yeah. it really blew up big. Mm -hmm. So it's been a big story. I don't believe it. I believe it was fabricated. I don't, I don't believe it was authentic. It's just... I just don't know how it'll impact their current sales. Um, and yeah, if it is if it's if somebody like your mom is not buying one, who would have? If she was oblivious to the new one, then it, it makes a huge impact. But uh, that's true. Um, but I still think yeah, they so have think, so I, much free advertising. I think yeah, I think it's, it's win either way, right? Like and now a lot of people who weren't aware of the product before yeah. know about it, yeah. and they'll buy the new one when it comes yeah, out. So yeah, they right. might be, might be holding off, but I don't think they're going to be losing any sales. Right. It may just be a slow. Oh, it's going to be a slower month. month and it's going to be just yeah. Because mass. I mean, it's really funny. Um, there's a lot of jokes on Twitter and stuff about. Uh, you know, Bill Gates dropping the Microsoft Kin in the bar, and nobody picks it up. You probably don't even know what a Kin is. No, I'm not um, and uh, even there was two new Blackberries that were released, and nobody cares. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, they come out all the time. And then uh, even uh, the new HTC. Well, they make it with like a, a different button on the one. Yeah, <laughs> but even the uh, the HTC, uh, the Android Incredible. I don't know if you've seen that phone. But uh, everyone's giving you know purpose scores. Do you have any five. time to put any, any notes <laughs> in your iPad? Apparently, you're just browsing. Yeah, no, but uh, yeah, like the, the incredible. I think it, it, from what I've seen from reviews and stuff, it does everything the iPhone does and, and beyond. But and this was just released like maybe last week or so, and nobody's really talking about it. Outside. So I mean, they definitely stole a lot of thunder from other yeah. phones that are really good. And so I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I think it's going to have a huge launch. In, in oh, it's going to be ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, even just the things that it, it's going to offer in the uh, new operating system. That yeah. actually, it's under NDA, so I can't talk about it. Oh, okay. But, uh, the things that are there. <laughs> I, think, I think there's feature lists that have come out, but yeah. I can't. I don't want to. So hit with the NDA stuff. Yeah. Um, but there's some really cool stuff in there. People have been wanting for a long time. Yeah. So. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, the only other piece of news really is that the um, the iPad 3G came out in the US. Um, still not in Canada. Uh, Do you have a theory as to why they delayed the international launch of the iPad? The only thing that I've heard really is just because they wanted to make sure that the U.S. market got well, everything they, they want. Say, I don't know. But I think Which it, is like build I, I demand think, or what? I think that I think they intentionally scaled back the number of iPads they made because they weren't sure about the demand for right. it. And it's been super popular. And then it, and it's, been, it's been stronger than they thought, and so they pulled it out of other markets yeah, in order to be able to supply the states. But I think, because, I mean, Apple could provide a billion of these things tomorrow if yeah, they wanted to. I mean, there's no, there's no it's, reason It's so weird, though, because, I mean, I still am uh, underwhelmed with the iPad. But I think it's because I've, I've had an iPhone for three years now, basically, right? About, it's my I two iPhones and an iPad. But I find it so weird because everyone... Uh, Everyone who plays with it who doesn't own an iPhone, they are amazed by it. Mm -hmm. it's so it's so weird. And it's like even my friends who aren't like tech people, oh, that's good but they try it. And it's like, it's it's amazing to them, but maybe it's not for me because I, yeah, I'm used to you've, it. You've evolved. Yeah, it's, well, it's, 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 it's revolutionary to them, but it's evolutionary to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's interesting. Um, 
Yeah, so I don't know. We'll see what happens when the 3G comes in. I still want to oh. see how the Canadian launch comes. Yeah, well, I, that's what I was going to say. I think your problem with the iPad is being a Canadian owning the iPad and not being able to buy any apps for it. So you're stuck. Well, you, with can still, you can still buy them in the Canadian store. You can buy oh, apps. Thought, you can't buy books. No. Well, I can go and read anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> I got a couple books on there. <laughs> but uh, no, no, you can actually you can, you can buy um, you can buy apps. But the thing is, you can't buy them through. The iPad. You have to be on your c computer oh. and through the Canadian store. You can buy apps. Okay, so I misunderstood. Um, so it's just it's it's a pretty complex. Mm -hmm. problem. It takes an extra thirty seconds, but I'm still not doing it. <laughs> um, pay, for, yeah. pay for apps. Yeah. Well, do that. Yeah. They do. <laughs> Four million dollars.